my body, my choice, my body, my At a pro-choice rally in Green Bay Sunday, people are aware of a leaked Supreme Court draft opinion that suggests the court could overturn Roe versus Wade. As somebody who's pro-choice, does that does that scare you? Yeah, it does scare me a lot, actually. Um, and I also think it's important for people to remember that banning abortion isn't taking away abortion, you're just taking away safe abortion. So my gut reaction was devastation. Um, I never thought that my children would grow up with less reproductive rights and freedoms than I had. That's why they are marching through Green Bay, waving these signs, making their voices heard. But not everybody thinks that getting rid of Roe versus Wade is a bad thing. I'd be happy, but we still have to rely on our states to to uh, enact appropriate laws to protect life. Kane is the director of a pro-life organization. Abortion is not health care. In order for an abortion to be successful, uh, an innocent human life must be killed. Back at the rally, Katie Stam brought her family out here and is holding this sign. So my job as a mom and as a nurse is to educate myself, but also my children and my community so they're able to make the best choices for themselves and their bodies. Another chapter in a debate between those who believe women should have control over their bodies. If they don't want an abortion, that's fine. I'm not dragging them to the doctor to make them have an abortion. The person who owns the body makes the decision. And those who believe ending a life in the womb is wrong. I believe every life has a value from conception till natural death, and I'm called to protect that life. It's a debate that's constantly evolving and probably isn't going anywhere anytime soon. In Green Bay, Paul Stino, Local 5 News.